What's up guys, Brent Sibley, Sibley Dolman, Accident Injury Attorneys. And today I'm talking about a topic that a lot of clients and people ask me about, which is why doesn't it matter that the person was texting when they hit me? Now, it actually does matter sometimes, but not always, and here's why. If somebody rear ends you and they cause a crash, it's their fault. There's really not much in the way of disputing that. And although sometimes some people try and dispute the fact that they're, it's their fault for causing a rear end collision, it's pretty much always gonna be their fault. And Florida has a law that basically says if you rear end someone, it's automatically presumed to be your fault. You can undo that, but it's basically your fault. So why doesn't it matter if they were texting? Now this area of law is changing a little bit. For the most part though, it doesn't matter because they're already at fault for the crash. You can't be more than 100% at fault in the crash. So let's back that up. Why does that matter? Well, if the person was texting or if they were looking at the radio or if they were looking in the back seat at their baby or they were doing a million different things, if they rear end you, they're at fault. It doesn't really matter what they were doing. They were negligent, so it doesn't matter. They're 100% at fault. The way I say when I explain this to my clients is you can't be more than 100% at fault. Somebody who, re who rear ends you is 100% at fault, and whether or not they were changing the radio, sneezing, looking at the baby, texting, looking at a billboard, whatever it may be, they're at fault, so it doesn't really matter what they were doing. So when you're worried and preoccupied about figuring out exactly what the person that was doing, it doesn't really matter because they rear-ended you, it's their fault, let's move on to the next thing, let's move on to what's more important. Now the only exception to this is that if texting becomes tantamount to drinking, which is important because then you get the possibility of having punitive damages, which does go into a different department where it actually matters that there is such a thing as being more than 100% at fault. Because if someone is drinking and driving, they're committing an additional crime, which the law says that you may be entitled to punitive damages against that person. So there is a benefit to establishing that and proving that because you might be entitled to more money. But for the most part, figuring out exactly what the person was doing, whether it be texting, distracted, looking down, looking left, looking right, uh, it doesn't matter because they're 100% at fault and you can't go above 100%. So anyway, it's a little, tiny little video about worrying about what the other person was doing. If they're at fault, they're at fault. Now you gotta move on to your damages, which is a topic for another video. Anyway, hope this little video helps you out. Brent Sibley, Sibley Dolman, Accident Injury Attorneys. Have a great day, guys.